Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Prey, where last time we continued our exploration of the Arboretum, pretty much cleared it out, and killed a couple of nightmares. Or rather, I suppose, technically, if we're going to be precise, turrets killed nightmares for me, I just stood nearby and wasn't that just flipping lovely. And today, today we're heading into deep storage, where technically I believe we're going to get an arming key that lets us blow up the station. I'm not convinced we're going to blow up the station, to be perfectly honest. I'm not convinced about that at all. I think we should try and get flipping crew quarter keys, get into the crew quarters, and get ourselves the escape pod key that will let us escape on Alex's escape pod. We tried to track down Alex himself. Sadly, even though I was supposed to be finding him up there, that was just his tracking tag thing. He took it off. So that was not actually him. So in we go to the lift. Deep storage. Here we come. And better and better, we've also got a thing to unlock here. There we are, new airlock unlocked, so I can skip around outside the platform. Now, who are you? Silence pistol, I'll take the ammo together with the glue canisters. Uh, you are Zachary West. Burnt circuit board, bunch of stuff, and a note. Okay, your treasure map. Basement 2, circle, 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 and then look in the bottom right-hand corner. So if I can find a basement 2 that looks like that shape, that's got three circular things in it... Go down to the bottom right and look in the corner. Okay. Interesting. Also, ah. Crew quarters! Okay. And a transcribe too. Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes if they have the right words, or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her, or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Right, in which case, actually, we're not doing deep storage today. We are, in fact, doing the crew quarters. So that's marvellously good news because I wanted to go there anyway. Now, uh, I would imagine this place is pretty safe. Because I know for a fact there's a whole bunch of survivors in here, or at least there were very recently, because the security computer said loads of people who were still alive, they're all in the crew quarters, pretty much, and they were all marked as still alive, at least until recently. So, I imagine this place ought to be pretty safe, and uh, I have got a lot, a flipping lot, in fact, of, uh, yeah, keys I can use in here. Dr. Bellamy, Alex Hugh, I should be able to get into his cabin, now I need to break into her cabin too. So, I imagine this place ought to be pretty safe. Yeah? This all looks good. Look, people, people are up. Mind controlled. Right, okay. So, we have got ourselves a mind controlled person here. I need to take out a telepath or accept that these people need to die. I see you, another puppet. Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes, a little closer. Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. The cook's request. New objective. So, I suspect if there's anyone still alive and, like, sane, it's apparently going to be the cook. So we might want to go and have a chat with them. But first we need to, well, no sign of a telepath in here. So, yeah, maybe we just try and run past these people if we can. So, Will Mitchell is alive in the kitchen of the crew quarters and broadcasting over the loudspeakers. I should head to the cafeteria and investigate. Fine, so investigate the cafeteria, see what's going on there. He might be the only one who's not mind controlled. So, there's Danielle's cabin. There's Bellamy's cabin. There's the cafeteria. And there is Alex's room. Right, there's all the different things we need. Lovely. Problem is, yeah, I don't have a map for this area yet either. If I was just to glue these people, that would slow them down. That's probably the best bet. If they see me, glue them and then just run. So first, our cafeteria is in that direction. If I just head over there and then just, hang on. What does that say? 
That is recreation centre. That's probably a good enough starting point. Right. Hopefully just one person in here. Maybe, just maybe I can sneak into the recreation centre without them seeing me. Would be nice. If so, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Yep, in we go. One person over here. Recreation centre. You think you can kill me with them? Right. More recreation centre. If we're lucky, there's no monsters in here. It's just that, well, there's at least something in here. No, that's just a corpse. That's fine. Okay, so things in here... Not 100% great, you know, could be better. And actually feels like this is not the right way to get to the area. No, I'm kind of in a dead end at the minute. Unless, of course, I can get up top and I can get into... It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, we've got ourselves a poltergeist over here. And where are you? Where are you? Around here somewhere? No, 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 no. I see you. Boom. Dead. They are not as scary as they used to be. Right. Nice and simple. Get some glue on them. Double shotgun blast. Job done. And a computer game controller. We haven't seen one of those since our entirely fake apartment. Ah, but there's like... Ooh, there's like eight of them. Ooh, eight player on a massive screen. That's pretty damn cool. Right, let's head upstairs. See if I can find my way into like, you know, some nice upstairs air ducts or something. Because that might be... Ah. Hello. We've got ourselves one mind-controlled person there. Fine. You're just going to keep facing that way forever. Because if so, that'd be fine. I won't even need to glue him. Yep, you just stay there. You stay there. There's a bunch of food and whatever here, but it's not that important. So, in which case, I can just get back out this yeah, way. And, yeah. Oh, never mind. Right, you know what? Glue, 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 glue. You just get glued. Yep, and also, the Mimic also needs to get glued. No, screw you. There we go. You stay in there, okay? Stay in there. Don't do anything to hurt me. And we've got... Ooh. Hello, we've got... Ooh! I've just stumbled across a character sheet. Nice! Everyone's playing Fatal Fortress. Very cool. This is actually where they gathered to play... Oh, this is cool. They actually gathered to play Fatal Fortress here. Right, so... We've got her cabin key card as well. Beautiful. Then we've got... Ah, finally broke out. No, no, no. Ooh! Oh, oh! Oh, dear. So, his head went pop. Which I feel like was kind of my fault in some ways. And another treasure map. All right. Uh, Elias has... Stab fellow! Stab fellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door... Oh, forget that. It just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer? Hell no! You hear nothing. From the darkness, it has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right, let me light a torch. Hey, guys, sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes, right here. Okay, so we've already got, yep, a new voice sample featuring her. Good, so we need to keep looking for voice samples. Cool. And yeah, potentially if I stay upstairs, I might be able to avoid some of the people down here and cut across to there. But I think if I break the window in here and just create a glue bridge, that's probably the most efficient way to do it. Because I kind of want to avoid as many people as possible, because I feel like I'm accidentally causing their, you know, like, heads to explode. Which will be... Oh, yeah. That in there is totally going to be a way for me to get through into, like, a little air duct, isn't it? Yeah. 100%. Now, some people might say I just fell down there. Other people would say this is just a wonderful opportunity for me to make a lovely little ramp up. There we go. So, round here. Get down here. Get myself a nice wrench. And now, yep. In here, including... Ooh! Free glue cannon. Nice. Take the ammo, then grab the thing. Dead people up here. Lovely. Good place to try and hide. Well done. Cafeteria at 30 in this... Ooh. Right, what is... what's causing rats? Right, just... 
crack this open. I need to at least have a loop see what's going on here. And it is... Uh, carry. And yep. And break that open. Lovely. Now, has that killed them ahead of time by virtue of the fact they've fallen over? Yes, because the flames have murdered them. Good. Good, good, good. Now, deal with the fire. Right, job done. But there's more yet. Right, and heavy rads too. Right, cafeteria in that direction. I feel like I'm not cutting through to it like this. Yes, actually, looking at the plan, if I want to get to the cafeteria down on the lower level, I'm going to need to find some stairs down. Because you can't just cut across and drop into it. It looks like it's down at the bottom. Fine. Nice old style theatre here. Cleared out of those guys. That's... No, it was just Bethesda glitching, not actually something in disguise. Also, a theatre where you can smoke a cigar while watching a film. Very bloody old school. I question a universe where, when they've got the looking glass technology, anyone would ever use an old-fashioned projector ever again. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. So, okay, so now I'm up on the second level. And I've already seen a- Hello, where have you just got yourself to? Right, back off until it shows itself again. Yeah, I may as well explore this floor. It feels like it's not the biggest floor. Let's just have a look-see around here. This will be the... The restaurant, then. Okay, nice and dark. Good, good, good. And more flipping corpses. Always check the corpses. Good stuff on the corpses. Yeah, you see? A wrench. That's pretty useless. One phantom who's already seen me and ju- Nope. Bit late on the jump there. That's fine. Excuse me. Too bad for you. Right. Was that just dead in one? Ooh, nice. I'm liking the shotgun. The shotgun is good. By the way, code to the grav shaft has changed. Lovely. Code to grav shaft. Marvellous. So we can get the elevator working it. Probably just Bethesda glitching. So, yellow tulip restaurant. Almost certainly phantom floating around somewhere around here. But where... Ooh, and a nice band here as well. That's good. That's very, very nice. Yep. Definitely somewhere around here. Hang on. Back out the front door. Where are you? Oh, that was just a mimic. Oh, sorry. I thought you were something dangerous. And a power control thing in here. Let's get some power back onto this building, please. Because I think it's... Yep. There we are. Local breakup fixed. Power restored. And yeah, this place... This place is pretty damn... Yep, should have seen that. Well, I kind of saw that one coming. Kind of saw that one coming. You know what? Never mind. Screw you. And I can play the drums if I want to. Not well, but I can. Yellow tulip supply closet key on Tizzy. Presumably the robo bartender. Interesting. That'll be this room off to the side of the bar then. Open that up. Prepare the glue because it's got no lights. That means it's probably... No. A couple of people died in here. Okay, they just kind of hid in here, and apparently there's no way to get the lights on in here for whatever reason. Fine. So, bunch of basic stuff here. More booze, more pistols, more stuff. Not going to take your wrench. One. Ah, yeah. Gun and a handful of bullets. Right, yeah, I see where you're going with that game. The escape pods didn't work, and we believe it was intentional. Those black shapes are everywhere. Everyone we know is dead, or something worse. We aren't going to let that happen to us. To our families, we love you, Brandy and Jenny. Oh, so yes, indeed, they retreat in here. Decides to take their own lives rather than anything else, which is uh, understandable, to be honest, under the circumstances. And yes, possibly, past me, deliberately sabotaged the escape pods, which would actually make sense why they're now not working, because I sabotaged them. If one of the previous me's agreed with January that everyone had to be killed rather than being allowed to escape. So that, I think, is the entire second floor now explored. But I can get the grav lifts working if I just find the entry pad for them. Which I should be able to. Also, there was totally a person around here. There was. Had them scanned and everything. Okay, well, they seem to be gone now. Right, well, got the key code. Three, five, zero, six, or hacking three. Right, that's now working to get up to the, yeah, executive suite. So if I need to get up to Alex's office, that is how we're going to do it. Lovely. But instead, this looks better. A proper little dining room here probably would therefore mean reservation scanner. Don't know. I keep using those. I've seen three of them and I've used all of them. Oh, yeah. I need to make my way over to the cafeteria, which is over here. And quite possibly I need to... Oh! 
dear. Right, yeah. Fine. So I need to basically either... Hmm, sneak my way through. Or basically just accept these guys are going to die. Well, let's get some scans on them. Let's just scan everyone just to make sure they're all... Ah! Telepath! Right. I've now got eyes on the telepath and know where it is. Right, it's quite a way in that direction. Possibly, yeah, far side of the cafeteria in the kitchens. But telepaths are bloody tanky, difficult to take out. But now I've got damage bonus versus them. Let's just get a little bit of health going on here. Just to make sure everything's as it should be. Yeah, you know what? Let's just... I'm just going to go for it. Screw you and... Oh, they're literally suicide head bombers. Yeah, they literally just... Their heads just burst. That's literally all they do. They're just... Ah. Uh... Right. So, I basically need to... Kill the telepath. Kill them. I would like to kill the telepath, not them. But that's going to be really difficult to do. If they see me, they just start charging me. Right. You need to be glued. So you don't do anything bad to me. Okay. I think while you're glued, you're harmless. Then I just make my way upstairs. Let's just plan out this room here. Ah, there you are. Hello. Hello, Mr. Telepath. Can I glue you? I think I can glue you at least a little bit. Yes, I can glue you a little bit. But you immediately... Oh, ouch. No, go into... Go into slow-mo. Okay. Or don't. Why are you not going into slow-mo? And then just, okay, get herself some health coming back here. I'm not sure why I'm not using my powers, given I, like, you know, have powers and stuff. Oh, dear. You need to... Sorry! Right, where where have you gone? He went up here. I saw him come up here. Where have you bloody... Oh, they move around like crazy. Right, you're coming up there. Don't need that. Right, one of you's dead. I'm really sorry about that. Not much I can do about it now. I'm going to try and save as many of you as I can. Then we've got, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you, and avoid his attack, which is... Oh, at Holmes! That's no good at all. Right. Now we've got to... Go, 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 and ouch. I think I just got suicide bombed from behind. If I could just get a full blast of the shotgun on it, I think I could do it. Actually... QB. And now let's just QB me as far as we can, okay? And then that that does that runs out of charge so quickly, or possibly I didn't have it fully charged. That's likely as well, right? Cubing, 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 Go! Now just activate. There we go. Dead. Everyone else wakes up, right? Maybe we talk. There we go. Yeah. Now everyone else should be hopefully. Alive, right? You are dead. Dead. Okay, so I didn't save any of these people. Well, I'm sorry, I tried. I did really genuinely try. Like, I just ran in, hit that thing with the Q-beam, which is so much more powerful now I've upgraded a bit. And, yeah, it just sadly did not work. Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. Yes, it did. You're unconscious. Okay, I've saved at least one person. Hopefully you're unconscious too, right? Well, I think you were already a corpse. But you are... Okay, so you're a corpse as well. You're you're also a corpse. I have saved at least one person today. Alright? Maybe even two. Yeah, there's, there's more corpses upstairs. Uh, plenty more corpses. Actually. Um, I found... Yeah, I found one unconscious person. So that's at least... Please be... Yes! Yes, yes, yes. That is... That is a second person not dead. There we are. I've saved two lives. Three! Three lives! Three unconscious people! Marvellous! Now, hello there! You willing to open up? Your suit. What is in your name tag? You? Um, am you? Am you. You killed this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my... award. It's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. 
I literally just save your life and kill the monstrosity that was blocking your only possible escape. But alright, fine, whatever. At this point, I feel like I've done a good job clearing out the monstrosities pretty well. And actually, everyone else should now... Wait, wait, why are you mind controlled? Why? Why are you mind controlled? You stay here. Stay here. Don't blow up. Okay? There we go. Good. No, 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 no. You don't blow up. You don't blow up. Everyone just doesn't blow up, okay? Now... Round the corner into the rooms. Lovely and Oh dear. Right. Phantom, 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 phantom. Boom. 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 And you dead yet? I think you're pretty dead. Lovely. I'm going to get myself re acclimatized here. So, yeah. Come in there. Turn around to the left. And this is where huge numbers of rooms are located. These are just the cabins for the staff who are not exactly like, you know, the. Well, I'm suspicious of a poltergeist. Yep, poltergeist. Should have been suspicious of that. No, 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 no. Boom, boom, dead. You know what? You are not that scary anymore, Mr. Poltergeist. Right, got the key. This is the chef's room, right? No, this is Danielle's cabin. Oh no, it's not. This is the chef's cabin. Will Mitchell. I was right first time. So he wants to. Oh, this is cute. Little gardens. Everyone got their own little garden just for a tiny little area. That's really nice. And this guy used it to grow vegetables he could actually use in his cooking. Oh, that's really cool. That's really, really damn cool. Right, so there we are. Noble Chef Award. Lovely, got that. It would have been really cool if there was two of them. So you knew one of them would be a mimic. That'd be hilarious. Right, so got his... Yeah, let's learn more about this guy who's slightly odd. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well... I didn't see it as an override, per se. It was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. <sighs> Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet, Miss Show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst and party. <clears throat> this is an AB conversation skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. Okay, can't help but notice that that guy in the kitchen, not Will Mitchell. Or if it is, voice is completely different. Intriguing. Let's see what his computer can tell us about that, because that's odd. Yeah, because the real Will Mitchell was apparently a close friend of Morgan. They knew each other. Morgan helped him out. So who's this fat guy in the kitchen? Because it's... We've already done the poltergeist fight. Don't play the scary music anymore. New chips anymore on the other open cabins. Maximize soy pool by 50. Ooh. Okay. Do I like that more than fear shielding? I need to do psychotronic skill to unlock more slots. Is that a... Is that a skill? Or does that mean like literally any of the ones in purple? Oh, no, no, it's down here. This is actually... Ah, this is new. Sorry, I completely missed there was a new thing down here. So increase my side pull up to 150 for two neuro mods. Uh, then up to 200, up to 250. Fine, so if I'm using heavy side skills, I can do that. Increase the effectiveness of the psi hypos up here. And, yeah, additional chipsets on the psychoscope on here. Fine, sorry, I completely missed that was a new thing. Yeah, I'm okay for now. All I really do is my um, slow down time ability. And to be honest, like, that doesn't require that much. And I've got tons of Psy Hypo, so I'm okay. I will pass on that one. This is... Ah! Igway. I know about Igway. Igway came up in one of the conversations in the lab, Psychotronics. Igway was like a senior scientist researching stuff. He actually is a character with a voice. Right, hack his computer and see what we've got going on here. Oh, very funny game. Very bloody funny, this one. Well, he gets me the Psy Hypo Fabrication Plan. I've already got that, but never mind. I'll have another. Because when you grab it, the game gives you the nice music. Oh, it didn't that time. That's a shame. Now, apparently, I've got the key for Hans Kelstrup. Oh, Hans Kelstrup. Wait. Who is that? That rings a bell, but I can't remember who it was now. Is this important for something? I can't remember what for. Ooh, he has creepy, creepy bloody things in his office. Another Psy Hypo Fabrication Plan. Marvellous. And he actually has the creepy things on his bed. Nice. And by nice, I mean not at all. Let's break all these. There we go. Ooh, they're tough, apparently. If there was something significant here, I can't remember what it flipping was. Though, actually, now I think about it, I'm just going to take this here shoe. Because, yes, there's an office here. It's a bit broken. So, as I've got a shoe right flipping here, 
Well, this is just actually perfect. So, in we go. I can become a shoe. Oh, that's a really nice thing to become. And just through here. And cancel that. And now I'm inside. Ah, this person was chatting to Annalise Galegas. Okay. So this was one person who was concerned about the ethics of what was going on here. Fine, you seem to have been a good egg, but unfortunately you're probably dead at this point, and your room didn't even have that much good in it. J Mark's cabin. Pretty sure I found that corpse on the bridge. So this is possibly, in fact, well, I'm surprised the captain has a normal cabin rather than like a fancy one, but I guess the captain's have... Oh, the captain had the captain's loft as well. Maybe this is like private cabin away from the loft. So, Captain apparently not worthy of actually being put up on the actual uh, executive level. Very, very harsh. But, sadly, yeah, Jada Mark's safe. Hacking 4, never found a code on her body, so, yeah, can't get in there. Unfortunately, I imagine there's a good number of neuromods in there, but never mind. Ooh, Fong Vu just said sigh. Just gonna glue you very quickly. Do not explode. Don't explode. Right, no matching key card. Well, can't get in there at least. Right, you just stay over there. Right, I'm going to come through here now. Into crew cabins B. Let's clear out the rest of the cabins while I'm passing through here. Any more monsters down here? Yep, at least one more monster. Yeah, there's a phantom in here somewhere. Danielle's cabin. Okay. No, you've apparently misplaced your transcribe again. Just wanted to let you know you still have some of your stuff in my room. Don't know if you want it back. Call me or something. Abby. Wait! Abby and Danielle were playing together. Abby seemed surprised Danielle would come. Okay, Abby and Danielle were a thing. Got it. They were dating or something. Right. Now, if I find Abby's right... Let's just... Sorry, Ivy. Genuinely, I am, but you need to die now. Right. Also, don't tell Abby that you've had flipping Ivy in your cabin as well. Blimey, heck. One neuromod here. Lovely. And a note. To do. Find missing transcribe. Check the theatre. Ooh. Theatre. Interesting. Get my stuff from Abby's cabin. Finish draft of apology letter. Pull head out of ass. Prioritise relationships over work. Oh, Oh, they totally had a thing for each other. That's very sweet. And I've got a conversation here. Transfer that file, please. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right... I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to this game or not? Oh, that's sweet, but they probably ended up turning into monstrosities and murdering each other. Also, hang on here. Treasure hunt, find maps. Well, I found maps. Oh, this is intriguing. Find Danielle's show's map. Right. And find Emma Beatty's map. Right, so the maps that pertained to the little space D&D, &D, future D&D &D thing that they were playing together... I've got to investigate. Oh, blimey. Oh, blimey heck. Right, there's a there's a really, really big quest related to this. Abigail's room, literally just opposite Danielle. Very confused. Oh, she had a pinball game. She has this much space to live in, and she decided to bring a massive pinball machine into space with her. I'd have fallen in love with this woman too. That's such good prioritization. Okay, Abby's computer. Hidden treasure. Code. Four-digit code. Now, is that related to the game that she was running? And we've got ourselves another conversation archive here. Danielle had a meeting with the great Alex Yu today. He gave me one of his bullshit I'm sorry's with no resolution. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. The Yu family sorry. Was it as insincere as a Danielle show apology? No. Danielle, I'm not saying working with him is easy, but... Did you just compare me to him? To that arrogant sack of shit? Danielle, this has to stop. You're right. Get out. We're done. Danielle! I said get out. Okay, maybe it didn't end that well, right? Oh, but... At the end, I don't think this is a drill. Did you feel the vibration? Felt like a blast in the lower decks. Oh. Oh, dear. 
At the end, Daniel kept emailing Abby over and over. Oh, that's really sad. Right, I tried calling Emma at the fitness center. Something's seriously wrong there. Get out of crew, I'll come find you. Fine, so fitness center, there'll be another voice sample there as well. Right. Here we are, fitness center, spot on. So, get in here. Just number two. So, fitness center cracks open. Just got to find a transcribe in here, and we're done with reconstructing her voice. And oh dear. No, 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 no. Well, never mind. He's exploded. Wait, hang on. No, no, wait. I've got a thing. I've got a thing that's just for this. I've got a disruptor gun. Disruptor gun. Just, just. There we go. Electrocute him. Unconscious. Yes, that's what I should have been doing all along. Using the gun that knocks people unconscious. That would have been a really good idea. Also, ah. There's another telepath over there. Just got to get eyes on it. Just tag it. Tag it. Where is it? Come on. That's why they haven't all recovered yet. Because there's another telepath. Fine. But I know what I'm doing now. One. Need to... That should totally have been sorted out. How is that one not covered up? Screw you. Right. Well, we'll cover up the rest of them at least. I don't think the other one's that bad. Yeah. As long as you actually need to shoot the ones you've already placed if they weren't quite right in order to do it properly. There we go. Now. Fitness center. Probably with a swimming pool. Where's the tele... There he is. Telepath. Lovely. Figure out where everyone else is, if anywhere. And now we've got that on you. Right. Make sure everything's reloaded. Yep. Reloaded. Reload. No. Reload. Right. Now, I think you know what I need to do. Q-beam. Q-beam works really, really nicely. Let me see. I've got almost no ammo left for it, but it'll have to do. QB And probably get out of the way now. Right, lovely. Well, that worked pretty well, all things considered. Right, in we go. Now we just want to flipping charge in at some point. Are you almost... I assume you're almost... Oh, dear. Right, you know what? Go, 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 go. Round the outside, round the outside. Charge it. Just flipping charge it. That's how you deal with this thing. And go, go. Dead. Nice. And now you should all be unconscious, not dead. So, job flipping done. Not sure what happened to all the water in the pool, but that's just gone missing. Yeah, I'd say hitting that thing with a mass amount of Q-beam damage and then basically following up with a shotgun works really nicely if you've upgraded your Q-beam a little. Also, this is blatantly, blatantly an area where there should have been, like, you know, a big looking glass. So they'd be like, you know, it could be like an infinity pool by the beach. That would have been way nice. Also, saved another human being. Saved, saved, not dead, boom. Two, in fact, nice... Oh, three. This time I've saved everyone. Oh, I'm such a big damn hero. Also, ooh, there's a back area back here in the darkness. Okay, this is cool. It doesn't actually do anything, but it's there. Or, ah, this is just to skip the flames if you've got no glue. Fine. Right, now, time to find uh, the transcribe. There should be one in here somewhere. So now that should be all the people who would have attacked me dead. Hopefully, or rather, no, sorry, no, no, not dead. Opposite of dead. Got that completely the wrong way around there. Neuromod, come on. There has to be a transcribe around here. She mentioned go to the fitness center, check for her transcribe there. It has to be here somewhere. Nope, if it is there, I've managed to completely miss it, but habitation pods. It was also mentioned there would be one in habitation. She knew someone in habitation that... Oh. Alright, creepy music, fine. Oh, it's you! It's just you again! Well, that's, that's a okay. You know what? Screw you. Screw you. Dead. Poltergeist, no problem. Here we are, transcribe. This might be it. This is Fowles. Officer Fowles. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me your report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Right. That's not what I was expecting. So the Annalise Gallegos thing still has not come to an end. There's more flipping to that, even though we found her body long ago. For some reason, yeah, there's still something going on there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
I think we're going to have to break this area in two and do a little bit more next time. Because, yeah, we've got loads to left. There's uh, the Chief Surgeon's Cabin. There's Bellamy's Cabin we haven't got to yet. We need to do the entire adventure. This rather cool, awesome-sounding adventure with the flipping D&D &D campaign. That sounds amazing. So, all that's to come next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut, and this has been Prey. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead. 